So in my last video, I spoke a little bit about what you need in a first aid kit for your pets. And I mentioned that your conforming gauze can be a good uh, muzzle if you need to have a makeshift muzzle for a dog that might be injured and you want to have some control over the mouth so you don't get bitten. And I said I'd show you how to make that. So this is that demonstration. So I'm just getting a bit of that conforming gauze using our scissors that were in the first aid kit. And what we do is we make a loop. So we're tying that in a knot and a loop. And again, I'm very lucky that my puppy dog here is going to be very compliant because he's not moving around too much. Um, but this is the same process that you would do in another dog. So keeping your hands away from the mouth as much as possible, you come in under the chin area and you tie down just gently enough so it brings the mouth up. You still want them to be able to breathe. It's not gonna, you're not gonna be occluding the nostril or anything like that. It's just gonna give you a little bit of protection over the mouth, so not too tight, but just firm enough so they can't bite you. Twist underneath, that gives you a little bit of extra support. Then coming behind the head and tying in a bow so it's quite easy release. So there you go, you've got this makeshift muzzle, gives you protection, it's nice and soft. Um, your dog can still open the mouth, they can still breathe through their nose, but if they are injured and you need to be protected from them, that's gonna help you, you do that. Never leave this kind of bandage on too long, it really is just a short-term uh, makeshift muzzle to, to give you some protection until you can get them properly looked after. Uh, to undo it, you just pull, pull, and these will just pop off like that.